Hey guys, welcome to my channel Life with Val. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about my fitness journey just because I've come such a long way um, since I'm going to say university in just trying to be fit and I think over the past year I've probably been the most consistent and dedicated and I guess maybe just sharing that with you guys on um, some of my social media platforms being Instagram and TikTok. So for now, I think I want to start with where did it all begin? So if you're new to my channel, I am a type 1 diabetic and this year I actually celebrated, celebrated, nine years um, of being a diabetic. And when I think about being a diabetic, I just think about how it really drove me to making a lot of better, dis yeah, much better decisions about my life when it comes to my health, when it comes to my fitness, um, even just in terms of my diet as well. I would say it's something that forced me to look at that whereas before i think i took that for granted a little bit but granted i was also just in high school and also in high school it's so much easier to like be fit like you are walking from classes every what 40 minutes you were playing i was playing hockey at the time being involved in things i played cricket so back then it was a little bit easier to be fit or be healthy like to be active and now we live or i live more of a sedentary lifestyle so being fit, doing a lot of walking is not something that actually comes natural to me. Um, but because I've always had like this diabetes thing and trying to be healthy in the back of my mind, I would say it's maybe the number one motivator of getting me on track. Um, some people say like, oh yeah, well, at least like the outcome of having diabetes is you'll always be thin. And I'm just like, let's not do that. Um, but I'm not going to say that I'm motivated solely because of my illness after reading atomic habits i realized that i just want to be a healthy person as well i don't want to look for a specific goal but if i happen to lose weight that would be great um but right now i'm just trying to i want to be associated with being healthy living a balanced lifestyle and that's kind of been the main motivator for this year and which is why i've been able to achieve so much consistency um i did a little bit of a q a on my instagram and yeah someone asked me how did consistency become a thing for you when i try that's my biggest challenge and i'm going to say this is definitely underpinned by i guess the type of person i want to be i want to be healthy i want to be fit like in my head i have this idea of being like saturdays are like i want to have an active saturday so that for the rest of the day i can do nothing i can just chill at home so for me it's really about what do I want to be? Who do I want to be? I do want to be someone that's fit. I don't want to walk up a flight of stairs and like struggle at the top. Like at the top, I'm huffing and puffing. Like I just generally and genuinely want to be healthy um, and to just be able to do things. And I think being intentional about that has been very, very, I'm going to say front of mind. And the fact that it helps with my diabetes as well is kind of just... I want to say it's like it's an added benefit to it. Um, I think it's also about just doing it. I don't go to the gym because, I mean, I do enjoy the gym. And lately I've actually started running, which has also been really, it's been a journey. I don't want to lie to you guys. Um, check out my TikTok because I've actually been taking my, um, is it my followers? My TikTok friends? my tiktok followers we've been on this journey of preparing for the 10k um which has been super exciting um but some days are not the days that i actually want to run today i ran a six and a half non-stop and when i woke up everything in me said no but i still chose to do it because i do want to run the 10k at the end of the day i do want to be someone who can say they've done a 10k who is into running um and I also actually just recently started yoga as well, which feels like it's, it's a challenge. When I went for the first class, I was like, what am I doing? This is painful. This is hard. I don't like I'm struggling. But that's a, that, that was a good type of struggle because afterwards I felt glorious. So the whole point of me actually telling you about gymming, running, yoga, is that you should do things that are actually fun for you. Do things that don't feel like torture in the moment. When it comes to running, I hate it for the first like minute after that i'm like i can do this this is actually great and i know afterwards i feel even better when it comes to gym i created my own gym program and 
during that time i did not include exercises that i don't enjoy i did not include a burpee i don't enjoy burpees like no i don't include push-ups because there's other ways to i guess work out those muscles without having to do things that you don't like and i think when you want when you decide to start your fitness journey decide to commit yourself to this thing you need to make sure that it's something that's sustainable for you is doing burpees every day going to be sustainable no you're gonna dread it and <clears throat> i feel like when you don't like it you're less inclined to do it um which is why like with running i used to hate it but now that i have a goal i'm working towards i'm posting it on tiktok maybe inspiring people but mostly shocking myself i'm finding the joy in it and doing it that way even with gymming i've been enjoying getting stronger like i literally documented um my weights that i kept on increasing like with each exercise let's say for example a bicep curl so it was nice to see like tangible things tangible improvements to just say val you're getting stronger your your endurance is like all the way up like wow girl like you're doing it i think another added bonus for me is just the mental clarity that you get i am someone that's an overthinker and it doesn't take much for me to kind of go into a spiral sit in my feelings think about things that haven't even happened which have a remote chance of happening and i promise you when i exercise it's the one time in the day that my mind goes quiet all i have to think about is how heavy this thing is how painful my muscle feels or how i'm actually enjoying this like my mind actually stops and that's been it's honestly the best benefit of this whole thing i i feel like it's made the journey quite it's helped keep my sanity so to say um when i just look at like last year i was going to the gym and i was active for some times but when i was upset or going through some difficulties like i felt it and then i stopped gymming which made it worse but this year when i've pushed through the feelings um and also it's very important that you don't actually um don't gym or don't do things based on how you feel based on the outcome not necessarily the outcome but what you want to achieve so i want to be a healthy person if i stay in today is that going to help me if i'm sick maybe tomorrow i don't think i should be still lying in bed let's try let's go out there let's do something um so the endorphin high afterwards is also like 10 out of 10 if i could i'd exercise every day but i i need to learn to prioritize rest so that's kind of where i am um the other question I got was, how do you manage your chronic sugar, diabetes and germ slash fitness lifestyle? Um, and with that one, I don't want to lie to you guys. It's a, it's a constant battle just because depending on the type of activity, when I'm doing the activity, it actually influences my sugar level. So there's times where I just cannot go and run or go and gym until I've gotten my sugar levels up. Um, it's been very hard to kind of keep keep them stable um but slowly i'm trying to find a way to get there um i can't tell you like this is the secret formula to this it's been it's been a challenge but what i'm saying is if i'm consistently gymming at a certain time my body likes the routine if i eat the same foods um around gym times so around dinner or dinner for the next morning or lunch for the afternoon then i know i can be stable throughout my workout um but this is a constant challenge just because with diabetes um everything can kind of impact um your sugar levels like literally anything like it's very so variable all the time so i can't say there's like a set plan in terms of how i am i'm managing it all i know is that i check it like all the time um so that if something goes wrong, like if it gets really low and I can't actually do the exercise, then I have to stop or I carry sweets with me. Um, but I'm just always checking it. So, yeah, I don't know if that really answers the question. It's difficult, but all I know is I'm trying my best. And so far it's working. Some days I win, some days I don't. And yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, the other question I got was to kind of tell us the secret. And I don't think there's necessarily a secret to it. It's more like I'm just doing it because I want to do it, because I want to, again, associate it with who I want to be. I do want to be someone that 
oh Val, she's always in the gym or yeah she's always doing something you know fitness related um just because i want to be healthy this is who i want to be fundamentally um and i honestly think that's my secret like if there's one thing that i can at least tick off and say that i've tried i tried the gym thing i tried i tried being fit to just be a better person to be more calm manage anxieties and that's 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 my secret i think for me being fit going to the gym is the way that i manage most of the stresses that life tends to throw at us and i want to say it's my coping mechanism as well um i just need to kind of have balance in that prioritizing rest it got to a point where i was gymming six times a week and on the seventh day it was so hard for me not to do anything now that i've gone and added like a 10k prep i don't know where that fits in with my gym program i can't gym and run it's too much um so we're still trying to find a balance but i do think i'm going to get there hopefully um but yeah if you guys do have any more questions about this fitness journey it has been a wild ride it's shown me that i can achieve a lot more than i think i'm stronger than i think and it's also just proven that anything i want to achieve i can um but it's also things that make sense like it's not about losing weight on a scale it's not about getting to a certain point it's not an outcome based thing it's more like just a continuous lifestyle um i actually wanted to add in terms of diet i haven't necessarily restricted myself from foods um i think what's actually working now for me is like looking forward to a cheat day where i can eat things but then because of my diabetes now and really wanting to um, manage my sugar levels i've also just reduced to those things i try not to have things i'm not supposed to have um but in terms of the diet just not to be too restrictive eat things that i enjoy making sure there's protein and veggies um with my lunch and dinner making sure and i'm not good with drinking water don't want to lie to you guys um i drink a protein shake to help keep get my protein intake up as well um but that's literally all that i do um but if i want it's it's rare that i want to sweet but if i want to chocolate i just think twice do i want it now if the next day comes and i still want it then i'm like okay fine let's have the chocolate but then that's all we're having for the week um so yeah it's a push and pull but in the end when I just look back on like how the year has been, how consistent I've been, even when I look at like all the rings that I've closed on my Apple Watch, I'm just like, okay, Val, you know, you're being healthy. You're doing the things you're supposed to do. Um, especially like just with having one illness, I don't want to, I want to try and prevent getting any more. So taking care of myself is also important for that. Um, and I guess my, I urge you guys, if you're not into fitness, if it's not something you've even looked towards as someone who has an illness i would just advise you to do any form of movement for like 30 minutes um three times a week four times a week like don't wait for something drastic to happen before you take yourself seriously before you take your health seriously um don't wait for like a health scare to kind of get you into shape don't wait for like a big day before you decide to get into shape if you focus on just 30 minutes you know something achievable you will definitely save yourself a lot of i want to say problems um down the line um and i don't want to say like i wish i knew that earlier i don't think anything would have changed in my out in in the way things have worked out but i think just making an intentional decision to make healthier life choices make healthier food choices maybe exercise a little bit more move your body like pour into yourself and yourself will literally thank you for it um but yeah if you guys have any more questions leave a comment down below or feel free to reach out to me on like my instagram or my tiktok um yeah i hope you like guys like this video um so if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe and share this channel as we're continuing to grow and i'll continue taking you guys along this ride with me bye